मस्त तेल में फ्राई करके वो मैं खा गया हेरा फेरी वन वॉज कॉपीड फिर हेरा फेरी विच इज पार्ट टू वॉज ऑल्सो कॉपीड वुड हेरा फेरी थ्री बी एन अदर कॉपी Will Hair Fairy Three meet the expectations of the Indian audience? Will Farhad Samji's direction with Hair Fairy Three come out as good as Pierre Dushan's version and Neeraj Vohra's version? Dene wala jab bhi deta deta chhap pad phad ke. The upcoming movie Hair Fairy Three, which has the same characters from Part One and Two, like Sunil Shetty, Parash Rawal, and Akshay Kumar. Let's dive back into the 2000s where Hair Fairy was first released the first installment of the franchise. So, this movie was um directors were Priya Darshan, writer Neeraj Vohra and the producer Ajay Nadiadwala. The characters that played the roles um in this uh, movie was Akshay Kumar, Sunil Shetty and Parash Rawal. So, this movie was actually a remake of the 1989 Malayalam movie Ramji Rao Speaking which is directed by Siddiqui and Lal. Ramji Rao speaking. Yeah, 2006 movie Fair Hair Fairy was written and directed by Neeraj Vohra and it had the same story and was a frame to frame copy of the British movie Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Since Hair Fairy is a new movie and has not released yet, we don't know the story, mm-hmm. so um we don't actually know if it was actually copied mm-hmm. or not. So we still have to wait. There have been many possible reasons and rumors for Hair Fairy 3's uh delay on on its release date. Mm-hmm. Going back to Hair Fairy 1 where it's released in 2000 part 2 2006 and Hair Fairy 3 was supposed to be re- released in 2015 or 16, but now it's in push to 2024. So there have been reasons about Akshay Kumar and how He believes that it is not the right time for the movie to be released or that he doesn't like the script. And another rumor was that Karthik Aryan would be replacing Akshay Kumar's role in the movie. And Hera Fairy 3 is like the sequel to Fit Hera Fairy Part 2 um which was also which was directed by Neeraj Vohra and Fit Hera Fairy 3 has to be the type of film that the audience uh will love and have a strong connection with it. Yeah, I think that this may not be possible since Farhad Samji director the director of Fair Hair Fairy 3 is not fit to be the director because as people may know he has given back to back flop movies yeah. and so if people want Hair Fairy 3 to fail which yeah. they should, which they wouldn't then he would be the perfect director for a disaster project yeah. but still we would have to give him a chance to see if he makes a good movie mm-hmm. I think part 1 and part 2 of Hair Fairy is like there's very special to me because The scenes where uh, the trios are present meaning Sonu Shetty, Parash Rawal and Akshay Kumar when they are present uh, they always make me laugh a lot and had hilarity and comedy in them in the scenes. Hair Fairy was written by Neeraj Vohra. Part 2 was written and directed by Neeraj Vohra and he also wrote a hit comedy movie called Goma and he recommended that Rohit Shetty direct the film which was actually a good choice. since he um since it actually elevated Rohit's career to a high very high level as he directed the rest of the franchise. I feel like Neeraj Vohra would be a, like is a great writer because he gave this movie Hair Fairy 2 and he's not even now going to give us 3 which would be like it's they they're very good movie they have very uh, like cliche scenes but they're very comedic and they really stand out to the audience. It's like they have an amazing cast, great storytelling, the plots and twists are great. And like even after all these years people still watch it to be entertained by uh this movie. I expect this movie to be better than the other two movies because the other two movies were copied and Hair Fairy 3 needs fresh and new content. So, in my opinion, Bollywood needs a fresh and new comedy movie. Yeah, it's very sad to know that Neeraj Vohra is no longer with us. Yeah. But acknowledging all of the info of this franchise's history, I can say that Farhad Samji is not a good director. and Rohit Shetty would be a perfect fit to direct it because once again he would do a great job at carrying out Neeraj Vohra's comedic film legacy. Neeraj Vohra is a great writer and we believe that throughout all these years that he's been with us he's given us great movies mm-hmm. Hair Fairy, Hair Fairy 2, like Goma and like he's he really made the stories stand stand out to the audience and uh, make it more appealing by making all these connections and like having the audience like having making us be able to like keep everyone still entertained even after all these years where people would be watching these his movies. So to conclude, Hera Fairy 3 needs to have an original story, good plot 
and good presentations like the prequel for the audience to like. And people have been waiting for these sequels for a long time because this is the main entertainment source. They've been looking for this for a long time and they should get it. Yeah, and we also expect a good performance from the third ones. Yeah. And but this day my money double nahi, triple hoga. Paisa hi paisa hoga. This day my money double. What? This day my money double. Paisa hi paisa hoga. What's the plan? If you want to check out our previous videos, it's up here, it's up here. And, and so before we leave, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, like and share, and comment down below on your thoughts about this video. This, this is Cinema Brothers, Brothers signing off. off.